Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the second tip on productivity. Um, you know that this is the second piece of uh, 30 days, 30 tips program that I started for the July 2023. And the whole month we will be talking about productivity. And today I want to talk with you uh, about the best way to overcome a mental block, according to me, of course. Um, but basically, I want to give you the 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 solution to this to this problem of feeling stuck, of feeling blocked, uh, and not being able to do anything. You know, it's not like you were lacking energy or anything. It's just this. Oh, I have like so much. Uh, I don't know where to start. I don't even know what to do. Like, what am I even supposed to do? So the solution to that is, not surprisingly, planning. Planning. Yes. Because how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece, of course. You need to like plan things into pieces. Um, but there is a big but there. Many people use planning as a method of procrastination, which I've done a lot as well. You know, like I am, I come up with this idea and I plan and I plan and I plan it like this and I like that and then turn it all around and plan it a bit more and plan, plan, plan. No execution, just you know, getting stuck in the planning phase. I'm not talking about that kind of planning. I'm talking about planning things in a very actionable way. And how do you do that? It's very simple, actually. You plan something in an actionable way by dividing your task into tiny pieces. Careful what I'm saying here. Tiny. What does tiny mean? In this context, when I say the word tiny, I mean uh, I mean such a such a micro task that it can be accomplished within like 15 to 25 minutes maximum. Of course, this is the ideal ideal situation, right? And how could that look like? What, uh, how could you do that? Personally, for instance, if I need to uh, prepare a presentation and if I'm like stuck, I don't know where to start. Of course, we've all been there. I will just take only 25 minutes maximum to come up with an outline. Basically, just dump everything that needs to be there uh, in the first few minutes, maybe. And then towards the end of that 25 minute block, that I have for myself, try to put things into order. And then at the end of that 25 minutes, voila, I'm done. This does not mean that it's a perfect outline, right? It can still be, yeah, improved. I was going to say perfectable, but yeah, that's not a word. So let's say it can still be improved even after that 25 minutes, but at least you have a, you have a first product in your hands, which later on can be developed further. Another uh, example could be if you're writing an article, and and you have this um, you have this other journal article that you want to uh, cite, which happened to me a lot. You just don't know like how, where to put that and like how to how to. Um, incorporate that other article that you're going to cite into, into your own, own paper. So then you can, you can say, I will take like, I don't know, 15 minutes to write one or two sentences that will incorporate that article into, into my own research. So yeah, write just one sentence that, will mean something within the context of your own research and like citing that article. Then you have you have only two things to interact with, your empty paper, your uh, research idea that's in your head, 
And that article that's on, maybe on another uh, tab in a window uh, that you will incorporate from. Of course, considering that you have read that article. Otherwise, you have to make this, this tiny step of some sort to read that article in the first place. Yet another example is if you are editing a paper of yours, you can say, uh, yeah, I'll take 25 minutes to edit one page of, of this article that I wrote. And in, in that one page, maybe you will have some paragraphs that are like quite decent, okay. And one or two paragraphs that are like quite problematic. It's very ambiguous and actually don't express yourself well. So in that 25 minutes, time will be divided somehow between the two. But the idea is to reach that one page of edited content. Having said that, I'd like to remind you that this is the ideal situation. And there could be tasks that cannot be divided in such a, like a tiny, tiny um, piece. An example that comes to my mind is correcting written exam papers, for instance. If you're correcting exam papers, yep, maybe depending on the exam and depending on the subject and all, maybe you will be able to correct one paper in 25 minutes. Great, then aim for it and then go. It could be that you would need 50 minutes to uh, check uh, grade an exam paper, which is also okay. 20, uh, it doesn't have to be 25 minutes. 50 minutes is also okay. But note that I'm going with the 25, 25 um, increments because I like working that way. I like uh, spending 25 minutes on something and take one, uh, take five minutes break or uh, spend 50 minutes on something and take 10 minutes break and all of that. Um, so yeah, this is how you can divide your tasks into tiny, tiny pieces. And then at the end, ideally, once you have this, this list of stuff that you can do in like approximately, oh yeah, this will take 15 minutes, this will take 25 minutes, which can be a lot of tasks, a lot of small tasks, one after the other. At least you have a plan, you have an actionable plan. And the next step is to just make this uh, logical order of things, of which one needs to be done first so that you can start with the next, so that you can start with the next. And then once you have the list of tiny tasks and the order of those, you start with the first tiny next step in order to take your work further. So this was the tip of today. See you tomorrow for another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions.